The following is a special presentation from ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Hi there, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the Georgia Dome. Mr. Peter O'Keefe is with me, and partner, we have a treat in store for us. There are not many running backs like this. Absolutely. Hands to make the catch, but he's also got legs. Watch. There's the grab, and now the run. It's all about desire. Proceeds to lay a lot more than a finger on it. Yeah, used all ten. Makes the catch on the right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Nice pass, pass the D on this play. It's worth another look here. Oh, it's all about accuracy, Dan. And Pearson comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. on his tail. I'll tell you, I was not expecting that pass at all. I wonder if he knew it was coming. Passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Number 21 carries it past scrimmage and heads left. And he's in for the touchdown. Well, in on this play. Oh, what a juke. Peter, that will put a touchdown. Number four, uncorks this to the left sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Number 13 makes the catch, oh, yeah. touchdown! Oh, that's way too easy. Wilson finally makes the play, but not in time. Let's have another look. Oh, yeah, gave up a lot of yards before forcing to having problems with. Ryan throws this one right sideline, and it's cut for a touchdown. In double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confidence. Four. Right, Number 34 yeah, yeah. got just a little past yeah, no yeah, place yeah. with that run back. And that'll do it for the first That's half the of this of one. The, the Falcons quarter. enjoying the lead 21 to 7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN halftime report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Let's take a look at the numbers from our first half, and you see red zone offense, as is often the case, has played a big role thus far. The Cowboys are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 81 was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 52-yard play that set up a Falcon touchdown. The Falcons strike first and go up by seven. Falcon towards the end of the first quarter, this time at the 24. Number 55 would come up with the big play to kill a drive because he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The boys, after getting an interception, Cowboys behind by seven. Number four would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Falcons now in the second quarter. Number 18 came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 57-yard play that set up a Falcon touchdown. Falcons winning 14 to nothing. Number four had it working as he connected with his man here for a big one. A 43-yard play that set up a Cowboy touchdown. The Cowboys climb back into the game now down by seven. 
Falcon late into the second quarter, Ryan would find his target on this one. A 28-yard play that set up a Falcon touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Falcons are up at the half, 21 to seven. Happens. Number four unloads this to the right sideline and down, it's complete for a first down and a hole. Yeah, goes right up the middle and heads up field. The 25, 10, he's in for the touchdown. And check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. He'll get the touchdown, and he does it in style. Beautiful play. <laughs> Elliott is at the 10. Finally popped out of bounds at the 1. It'll be first and goal. Number 24 lets the ball carrier get past the markers and a bunch more before he can stop him. There's the push to send him out of bounds. Very forceful, but... Oh, we got an excellent running tandem in the backfield, Dan. Watch Touchdown. out for them here. Number 89 catches at left sideline, and he's in for the score. So, hey, Flash. Ryan passes a high long one and 21 takes it for his eighth carry and rambles for about five. Try next. Bell rams the road right side and he's got number four. Throws right past the coverage. And into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. First down, two wide outs on the field. Bailey makes the hit in the backfield at the 48. One man to beat. Forced out at the 20. Yeah. Raise it up. <sighs> Number four really rifles this pass and it's intercepted. Stop at the three. The grab and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Man, looks a little awkward as he throws off the wrong foot. But he still finds his man. And Peter, we've talked before about. Unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O line should be embarrassed. Maybe they should have used their heads and not their digestive system on that one. How? How is that? You know, guts. Gutsy. Gutsy. Digestive. Got it. Regulation. Right. Dan, this game is over. There's no way for the D to stop the clock, and the offense is just going to sit on the ball to win this one. And that is going to do it for this one. The Falcons come out on top, 24 to 21. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Falcons stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Elliott gets the handoff as they keep it on the ground here. He's got room up the middle. A 50-yard touchdown for the Cowboys. The Cowboys climb back again and are now down by seven. The Falcons on D. Brown was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. 
the boy after getting an interception. Cowboys back by seven. Elliott let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. They nodded up, 21 all. The Falcons answer right back. Ryan connected with his man on this one. That set up a 28-yard field goal. Falcons ahead, 24 to 21. Brown is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The boys, after getting an interception, the Cowboys inside the red zone. Number 34 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Falcons after a red zone stop. Falcons leading by three. Ryan would find his target on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Falcons edge out a win, 24 to 21. Now let's take a moment to speak to our player of the game. Number 81 was kind enough to give us a moment of his time and he's on the field with Susie Calbert. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You gave an outstanding effort and you won a close game today. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? Frankly, I thought we really performed well on offense. We ran our plays cleanly and everybody did their part. We managed to rack up yards and points as a result. All in all, it was a pretty good game for us. Back to you, Chris. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.